Hi, welcome to Graphic Design 101 on Jim Sobit. In this video, we're going to make a landscape design. We'll be making this minimal looking artwork in Adobe Illustrator. I'll be walking you through the entire process, but I won't be explaining how to use the tools in details because I've already done that in the section one of the series. So check out the link in the description for the entire playlist. And now let's begin. Let's create a 1920 by 1080 pixels artboard. You don't need to create a full HD file if you don't want to. I just mainly wanted to go for a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And we'll keep the orientation to landscape and the color mode to RGB. Then we click on create. So once you have your new file opened, you can go ahead and save it as a first step. Now for this design, what I did first was collect lots of references and create a mood board. This included both illustrations and real photographs. These pictures helped me decide what exactly I wanted to make, the color scheme, the composition, the shapes and so on. Once I sort of had an idea, I started to make the design. I created this little color scheme which would help me work around my design. Here I created a rectangle in the top half of the artboard and filled it with a gradient that I thought would look nice for the sky but of course nothing is fixed at this point. Then just using the pen tool, I created a whole mountain range. Closer the mountains are, more the rugged edges we're gonna see. And so towards the back, I'll be drawing smoother curves. I filled each mountain with a different gradient that had a darker shade on the bottom, moving to a lighter one on the top. These very subtle gradients are what will play a huge role in the whole look of the design. And of course the mountains in the back will be of a lighter tone as compared to those in the front. All the colors I've used are in the greens and blues. So they go well together and give one single non-chaotic mood to the illustration. I experimented a bit with the gradient for the sky to make it go better with the dawn scene that we are making here and made it look a bit prettier in general. Then I quickly drew some birds using the pen tool. After that I added a sun here using the ellipse tool. Now before you argue that this does not look like our sun, I'm going to remind you we are working on an art piece and for my design I just wanted to have a subtle light source in the sky, be it a sun or a moon or a planet. I filled it up with a radial gradient and brought the opacity down. Then to add some trees, I chose symbols from the window menu on the top and picked these trees from the nature library. Then I kept on ungrouping the shapes till I had the basic silhouette of a tree. I could then change its color and make lots of copies of it around the bottom. After placing the trees, I selected all of them and moved them to a new layer for convenience. I decided to add some trees to the two closest mountains as well. Now to give them the same gradient as that of the mountain they are on, you could either manually select both the mountains and the trees and make them into one single shape using the shape builder tool so that they have one continuous gradient. But the other more hassle-free way is to just select them all and then go to the object menu and make them into a compound path. Now as a last major step, I made a new layer and drew a full size rectangle on it and I gave it a radial gradient and reduced its transparency. Now this layer will enhance colors and the overall look of the illustration. I played around with the blending modes to find out what looked best. I decided to change the blending mode of the trees and the birds as well. And I then corrected the mountains on the back a bit. And the sky and the sun too. Lastly, I touched up the topmost filter layer again and then saved my file. Exported it to a PNG and this was how it looked. I hope you liked this video or that it helped you in any way. Make sure to check out all our other videos from this series. And lastly, 
Thanks for watching.